Well, God bless you on this morning. We certainly thank and praise God, amen, for being in the house of the Lord. It's a blessing, amen, to be in the house and in the presence of the Lord. The psalmist declared, I was glad when they said unto me, oh, let us go into the house of the Lord. This morning our scripture comes out of Psalms 37, beginning at verse number one. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thy envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light in thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil let us pray father we want to tell you thank you now god we thank you that you've been good to us as a matter of fact you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves this morning we just tell you thank you thank you for life for health for strength thank you for your goodness your kindness your mercy thank you for grace all day thank you for peace in our mind and peace in our hearts lord we thank you now Father, we thank you that you've been mighty good to us. Lord, you've been good to us in spite of, in spite of what the enemy has tried to do. You've been good to us. In spite of how the enemy has tried to destroy us, you've been good to us. You've stayed the hand of death. You've rebuked the devil. And God, we say thank you now. We give you praise in the house. We give you glory in here now. Come on in the room this morning. Somebody here need to be touched. Somebody here need to be delivered. Somebody here need to be set free. God, come on in the room this morning. In the name of Jesus, Lord, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way now. Touch us again, oh Lord. We're waiting on your hand touch now. We're waiting on deliverance now. We await thy coming. We await thy presence on today, Lord. Oh God, oh God, oh God, you're everything under us. I said you're everything under us now, Lord. God, strengthen the hand of the believer now. Lord, strengthen the heart of your people everywhere. In the name of Jesus, our hearts are confused. Our minds are troubled on the day, Lord. But oh God, oh God, you said that he will lift up our eyes to the hill by which cometh our help. So here we are this morning. We're looking under you, O oh Lord, the author and the finisher of our faith. We thank you right now. That we thank you for victory on this morning, Lord. That I say we thank you for victory on this morning, Lord. That we thank you for victory in Christ Jesus. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Uh, lift up the hung down head. Uh, encourage the discouraged. Uh, Lord, we thank you for victory now. Uh, I say we thank you for the victory now. Uh, have your way, have your way, oh Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, our soul say yes. Our heart say yes. Uh, our mind say yes to you. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, Help us, help us, help us now. Uh, God, somebody here needs your help. Uh, Lord, somebody here need to be delivered. Uh, Lord, somebody here need to be set free. Uh, come on in the room this morning, Lord. Uh, come on in the room now, Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, our soul say yes. Uh, our heart say yes. Uh, our mind say yes. Uh, yeah, 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 yes. Uh, Help us, help us, help us, help us today in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we're going to give you all of the glory. We'll give you the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen, amen, and amen.
At this time, bless God, we're going to turn you into the hands of the choir as the choir will come. Let's say amen for the choir. <laughs>
Issa to come on me. How about a whole sheep? You come to the ocean, but God is a healer in the midst of the pandemic. How about a whole sheep? My mouth twisted in 2011. I was getting ready for Easter Sunday morning. Sunday morning service doing fine with the bed doing fine. But the enemy tried to come and attack my body on Sunday morning, April 2011. My mouth twisted, my hand was like a fish. How did you see? He come up a whole set. But I began to pray. My husband had touched the degree. I said, God, try to fix me up. Bring me back this way. Well, on this week, on this week, the enemy thought he had me again. He come to the ocean. I didn't have those symptoms, but I had that little sign. I began to call on Jesus. I said, say to the Lord, rebuke you. You take your hands off. Leave me alone. 2011, God touched my body. I said, God, you did it then. You can do it again. He come up a whole shed. Even the old shed. Come up a whole shed. Even though the battle was over for me then, it's over now. I begin to speak. That thing began to get up off of me. It would stay with me two, three days. But I said, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I begin to bind the hands of the enemy. But I speak on today that I'm healed, set free, and delivered. He come up a whole thing now.
God bless, amen, the choir. And this time, amen, we want to thank and praise God, amen, for just another day and everything that the Lord has done in our life. This is just another day that the Lord has kept us, just another day that the Lord has brought us here one more time. But the Lord has been good to us. The scripture declares that it is of the Lord's mercies, it is of his mercies that we are not consumed. And we thank God, amen, on this afternoon, this morning, amen, for the mercies of the Lord. Amen. I want to call your attention, amen, for those that have their Bibles, to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 37. Amen. And we're going to begin reading at verse number 1. Ezekiel 37 and 1. Amen. And it reads, bless God. Amen. It reads, the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry and he said unto me son of man can these bones live and i answered O lord god thou knowest Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay the news upon you, and will bring my flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you. And ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Amen. Can these bones live? Can these bones live? Amen. I just want to talk just for a few moments about broken but not beyond repair. Broken but not beyond repair. I believe that in this life we have to deal with things and situations that sometimes come upon us and if we're not careful they will leave us in a midst of despair not only will it leave us in despair but it will leave us feeling hopelessness it will leave us uh, in a state that we feel as if we have nowhere to go and no one to turn to but as believers in God, as believers in the word of God, and as walkers by faith, because the scripture declares that we walk by faith and not by sight. We must understand, amen, that since we are walking by faith and not by sight, we cannot always see where God is taking us. But we must understand that wherever he's taken us, Amen. We must learn how to trust God in whatever it is that we go through. And so this morning, I want to deal with broken, amen, but not beyond repair. Sometimes we have to deal with a broken spirit, a broken life. And then we deal with a broken relationship with God. What then is broken? Broken is when something is not completely whole or put together and at times we can be spiritually broken what brings about a broken spirit a broken spirit comes when it seems as if all hopes dreams and aspirations can no longer be achieved the bible declares in proverbs 17 and 22 a merry heart doth good like a medicine but a broken Spirit drieth the bones. Again, it declares in Psalms 34 and 18, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. And then he says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, he delivereth him out of them all. Isn't it good to know Amen. That, that, that the righteous are not immune from affliction. 
But the righteous, praise God, the Bible says the Lord delivers them out of them all. It's good to know that whatever trouble I get in, whatever I have to face, whatever I have to deal with, God is a deliverer. He delivers us from the hands of the enemy. He delivers us from the hands of those who would see us, amen, come to destruction. Amen. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. Yes, James picks it up and James said, my brethren, count it all joy. Amen. When you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith will get patience. And then it goes on to say, but let patience have her perfect work. That you may be entire, amen, lacking and wanting nothing. If we would only allow God to do whatever it is he's going to do. Sometimes we don't understand the plan of God. And I'm, I'm wondering, amen, I'll be the first to admit, oftentimes I don't understand the direction that God is taking me. Sometimes I don't understand the things that God is telling me to do. But yet, amen, if we can only trust, I've learned that if I can only trust in the Lord, if I can trust his plans, oh yes, amen, if you can trust his plan and trust that God has your best interest at heart. Oh my God, that's why brother Job said, Job said, but he knoweth the way that I take. And when he had tried me, I shall come forth as pure gold. Oh yes, I understand. Now God knows exactly what I'm going through. Sometimes I don't understand what I'm going through. Sometimes I can't figure out what I'm going through. But whatever I'm going through, I understand that the Lord knows the way that I take. In other words, the direction that I'm going in, God is directing my path. That's why the Bible says in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Sometimes it seems like the enemy does everything he can to confuse you in life's journey. But you must understand that the more we walk with God, the more we talk with him, the more we walk by faith and not by sight, the more we allow God to lead us, amen. He is going to lead us in the right direction in the path. Though you may not understand what God is doing, you've got to trust his plan. Oh, yes, and if you can only trust his plan. The psalmist says again in Psalm 51 and 8, he says, make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Yes, at times, amen, we need God not to wipe out things, but we need God to blot out. I found out that you can take white out and white it out on a sheet of paper, amen, and you can kind of erase what is there. Yes, and on the front side, it's covered up. But if you were to hold it up to the light, you could see exactly what has been whited out. So the psalmist here says, I don't need you to white out my sins, but I need you to blot out my sins. Blot out all my iniquities. In other words, I need you to, amen, praise God, fix it so where can't nobody see what I once used to be in. Can't nobody see what I once and how I once was messed up. Because you got a lot of folk that like to go DC fishing, that like to go fishing in people's past, that like to remind folk of what they used to do. They like to remind folk of the thing they used to be in. Oh yeah, but the psalmist says, blot out all mine iniquities. I need God to blot out. I don't need him to white it out. But I need God to blot out all mine iniquities. And then he says these words, create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. If a change is going to come, it has to come, it has to begin 
with me. The Lord, let this change begin with me. The renew a right spirit within me. The because I realize I've got the wrong attitude. I realize I've got the wrong outlook. I realize that I've allowed life to make me sour and bitter. The if you're not careful, there are some things in this life uh, that will leave a bitter taste in your mouth. Uh, there are some people that will leave a bitter taste in your mouth. Uh, there are some situations that will leave a bitter taste in your mouth. Uh, that's why you got to pray every day of your life. Uh, Lord, renew, renew a right spirit within me. Uh, yes, God, amen. There's somebody the old Oh, used to sing the song, try me now and see, uh, see if I can be completely yours. Uh, whatever it is I need God to do in my life, uh, I need God to do something for me that he's never done before. Uh, renew, renew a right spirit. Uh, somebody help me say right spirit. I need a right spirit renewed within me. Uh, then the psalmist said, cast me not away from thy presence uh, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Uh, God, you can have everything else. Uh, you can have all the positions. Uh, you can have the money, the fame, the fortune. Uh, but Lord, don't take your Holy Spirit away from from me. Uh, don't take away the thing that you've given me. The, the comfort, the comfort that I have. Uh, oh yeah, the joy, the joy, the joy. Uh, the joy that we shared uh, as we tarry there none has ever known. Uh, oh yes, the psalmist wanted us to realize uh, that we cannot afford to lose the spirit of God. Uh, come on, lift your hand and tell God I don't want to lose your spirit. Now, I may lose a lot of things I may lose some friends But that's alright I may lose a position or two but that's alright I may lose money in the stock market But that's alright I may lose a whole lot of different things But that's alright But Lord whatever is going on right now I don't want to lose the spirit of God The one that directs me The one that walks with me Talks with me And tells me that I am here his own. Uh, can the church say amen? Cast me not, cast me not uh, away from thy presence. Uh, Lord, I don't want to leave your presence. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the old folk used to sing the song, sweep over my soul. Uh, my joy is complete uh, as I kneel at thy feet. Uh, sweep over my soul. Uh, I don't want to lose what God has done in my life. Uh, I don't want to lose the spirit of God. Uh, I can't mess around with people, men, or things. Uh, because if I mess around with people, men, or things, uh, I may miss out on what God got for me. Uh, can I tell you this morning, eyes have not seen. Uh, ears have not heard. Uh, neither hath it entered into the heart of men. Uh, the good things that the Lord hath in store uh, for all of them who love the Lord. Uh, I wonder, is there anybody here that love God. Uh, the psalmist said, cast me not. Mm, uh, cast me not away from your presence. Uh, take not the Holy Spirit from me. Uh, but he says, restore unto me uh, the joy of my salvation. Uh, restore unto me the, the joy of thy salvation. Uh, in other words, Lord, I need joy. Uh, I've got to have joy. Uh, I keep telling folk there's a difference in having joy and being happy. Uh, because joy, praise God, uh, comes from within. Uh, happiness comes from without. Uh, somebody can give you money and make you happy. Uh, somebody can give you a new car and make you happy. Uh, somebody can buy you a nice outfit and make you happy. Uh, somebody can give you a raise and make you happy. Uh, somebody can bless you real good and make you happy. Uh, oh my God. Uh, but I just don't want to be happy anymore. Uh, but I want to have the joy of the Lord. Uh, because the joy comes from within. Uh, joy 
comes from the dead. Don't have to have no money, but I still got joy. Don't have to have nothing to ride in, but I still got joy. May not have the finest of clothes, but I still have joy. May not have everything that I want, but I still got joy. This joy that I have, the world did not give it unto me. And the world can't take it away. Restore unto me. Oh my God, uh, the psalmist realized uh, as he's writing this right here, uh, he says, Restore unto me. Uh, lift your hand and say, God, I need some restoration. Uh, oh, restore unto me. Uh, that's why in the book of Joel, Joel says, uh, And I will restore. Uh, I will restore the years uh, that the palmer worm, the canker worm, uh, the locust, and the caterpillar. Uh, God is a God of restoration. Uh, there are some things that we have lost. Uh, we have lost in this pandemic. Uh, there are some things that we have lost uh, in this year. Uh, some of us have lost friends. Uh, some of us have lost loved ones. Uh, some of us have lost jobs. Uh, we've lost a whole lot of things. Uh, but I've come to tell you on this morning uh, that God is a God uh, that is able to restore whatever you've lost. Uh, oh yeah, yes. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. He will restore unto you. He'll give you joy in the midst of sorrow. He'll give you peace in the midst of the storm. He'll cause you to be a calm, my God. When everything around you is all toxic to it. When everything around you look like it's messing up and tearing up. I can hear God said, I'm the God. The God of thy salvation. I'm the God of Abraham. Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. I'm the El Shaddai. I'm everything that you need. Can the church say amen? The psalmist said, restore unto me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I lost some things. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. But God, 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 restore unto me. I need you to give it back. Those that are watching me on this morning, you need to ask God to give it back. Oh, yeah, give it back. Give me back my joy. And sometime, my God, you've got to, you've got to get an attitude. You've got to get a spiritual attitude about the matter. It stop asking for it. It go back and take back whatever the devil have taken away from you. You've got to learn how to take back your joy. How to take back your peace. How to take back your strength. How to take back your peace of mind. How to take back your serenity. How to take back your happiness. How to take back your love. How to take Take back whatever the enemy has taken from you. Uh, lift your hand and say, I'm taking it back. Uh, whatever the devil has stole from me, uh, God is going to give it back to me. Oh my God, my God. Uh, he said, Restore unto me. Uh, lift your hand and said, I need restoration. Uh, oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, there are some things in my life uh, that I need God to restore. Uh, marriage is messed up. Uh, need God to restore a troubled marriage. Uh, home is messed up. Uh, need God to restore a messed up home. Uh, son is hooked on drugs. Uh, need God to restore my son. To his right mind. Uh, daughter's doing what she want to do. Uh, need God to restore her to her right mind. Uh, Y'all looking at me crazy up in here. Uh, but there are some things uh, that only God can do. Uh, there are some things that only God can do. Uh, lift your hand and say, Lord, uh, you're the only one that can fix this. Uh, you're the only one that can make this work. Uh, you're the only one that can bring me out. Uh, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Uh, can't nobody hold me like Jesus uh, yeah 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 so, when you understand uh, that this is the time in which we're living uh, that's why praise God that's why when we were quarantined uh, everybody was in quarantine uh, now the enemy was trying to break your mind uh, they said suicide rates went up uh, when everybody was locked up uh, and then praise God uh, after being locked up uh, people came out protesting uh, folk came out rioting uh, people came out fighting uh, people came out shooting and doing some of everything uh, murder rates went up uh, suicide rates 
went up. Children talking back went up. Everybody wanted to go crazy. The gun sales went up. Everybody bought guns. Everybody bought ammunition. People were getting ready for a riot. Oh, yeah. yeah. But can I tell you, praise God, you were getting ready for a riot. I can hear the Holy Ghost saying this morning, while you getting ready for the riot, are you ready for the rapture? Hey, are you ready for Christ to return? For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout and with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then these which are alive and remain, we shall be caught up. Oh my God, you ready for a riot? You ready for the pandemic? But are you ready for the rapture? I want to ask somebody right now, are you rapture ready? Pet yourself. You ain't got to pet nobody else, but pet yourself and ask yourself, am I rapture ready? Am I ready for the rapture? Mm, mm, mm. The psalmist said these words, restore unto me. The joy of thy salvation. Somewhere I've lost my joy. Somewhere life has tricked me. The enemy has fooled me. I've lost my joy. I've lost what God gave me. But Lord, 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 I need my joy back. Oh yeah, I'm talking about the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord that is your strength. I need my joy back. What kind of joy do you want back? The joy of the psalmist said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. What joy do you want back? I want the joy back that when somebody go to talking about Jesus, I just get happy. I want the joy back when somebody go to telling me what God did in their life. Oh yeah, just like baby John that was eavesdropping on Elizabeth and Mary's conversation. When Mary told Elizabeth that she was pregnant the Bible said the babe leaped in the belly. In other words baby John was eavesdropping and when he heard that Christ was coming the baby got happy. You got to understand something my friend, that Jesus Jesus uh, is soon to come. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, that's why I need my joy back. Uh, I want to be ready when he comes. Uh, can the church say uh, amen? He says, restore, restore, uh, restore unto me uh, the joy of thy salvation. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh, and uphold me uh, with thy free spirit. Uh, then will I teach transgressors thy ways, uh, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Uh, the sacrifices of God uh, are a broken spirit, uh, a broken and a contrite heart. Uh, Oh God, thou wilt not despise. When, 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 when I come to Jesus, a broken, a broken, a broken, in a contrite heart, thou wilt not despise. That's why somebody said it in a song. Mm. They said I came to Jesus uh, just as, just as, uh, just as I was. Uh, I was weary and worn and sad, uh, but I found in him a resting place, uh, and he had made me glad. Uh, somebody had me said broken, uh, but not beyond repair. Uh, there are some things in this life uh, that will break us. Uh, there are some people in this life uh, that will break us. Uh, there are certain situations in this life uh, that will cause you to be broken. Uh, Job 17 and 1 says, uh, my breath is corrupt. Uh, my days are extinct. Uh, the graves are ready for me. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, in other words, Job said, uh, every time I talk, uh, it is corrupt. Uh, my days are extinct. Uh, the graves are ready for me. Uh, mm, mm, 
Yes, yes. I realize that my days are numbered. Yes, Lord. For the Bible says that the very hairs on our head are numbered. Our days are numbered. He promised us three score and ten. He promised us seventy years. But the Bible says that the days of our lives are as a tale that goes by. Oh, my, 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 my. The Bible said in Proverbs 18 and 14, the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit, who can bear? Oh, how can you do that? What do you do when your spirit has been broken? Yeah, yeah. It's easy, my God. Mend it up. It's easy. You can mend a broken arm back together again simply by putting the cash on it. You can mend the broken leg or ankle together again simply by putting the cast on it and allowing the bones to grow back together. But a wounded spirit, how can you heal a wounded spirit? Can I talk a minute about a wounded spirit? A wounded spirit will wake you up at one o'clock in the morning. Have your pace in the flow because your spirit has been hurt. Uh, a wounded spirit uh, will cause you, my God, uh, to question your very existence. Uh, a wounded spirit uh, will make you wonder whether or not uh, the Lord has forgotten all about you. Uh, a wounded spirit uh, will make you wonder whether or not uh, you own anybody's mind. Uh, a wounded spirit uh, will cause you to cry. It uh, ain't nobody bothering you. Uh, a wounded spirit uh, will cause you to sit in a corner uh, in a dark room by yourself. Uh, listen to me hear your Jackson sing. Uh, nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Uh, nobody knows my sorrows. Uh, a wounded spirit uh, will have you feeling sorry for yourself. Uh, but I come to tell somebody this morning, uh, it's time, it's time. Hallelujah. It's time, it's time to get your wounded spirit together. It's time, it's time for you to stop crying over the same old, same old. Dry your weeping eyes. That's why the Bible said in Corinthians, for our affliction as though they seem, but, but for a light moment, but the reward that we receive is far more exceeding. That's why the psalmist at the decline uh, ah, for his anger endured but for a moment uh, in his favor is life uh, weeping may endure for a night uh, but joy cometh in the morning uh, there are those of us uh, we've had wounded spirit uh, have your spirit ever been wounded uh, have your spirit ever been broken uh, has it ever seemed like uh, folk left you alone they left you for dead uh, oh yeah yeah, they left me for dead, but I thank and praise God that I didn't die when they wanted me to die, but God breathed life into me, God breathed breath upon me, can I talk to somebody in here on the night, when you understand, when you understand, it's a wounded spirit, what calls you to go through some things, but you've got to learn how to trust God, if we trust in never doubt. He will surely bring you out. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Can I preach any way up in here? The Bible goes on to say the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity. Oh yeah, yeah. In other words, in other words, if I'm hurt, my spirit will tell me, get up man, you can make it. The hospital is just down the road. My spirit will tell me to call 911. I got some help on the other end. But it said a wounded spirit. Huh? Mm -hmm. 
who can bear yeah yeah I've seen I've seen I've seen a lot of wounded spirits in church I've seen a lot of wounded and hurt spirits in church people sit in church hurt oh yeah yeah ain't nothing like church hurt can I talk to you a little while? Huh? Ain't nothing like church hurt. Huh? When you've been in the church, my God, huh? and you've been hurt by those in the church, huh? by folk you thought were saved, huh? by folk you thought were sanctified, huh? by folk you thought had the Holy Ghost. Huh? Walk over your feelings. Huh? Wipe their feet on you huh? as if you were just a rug sitting down. Huh? Had no regard for anybody or anything. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you felt all forsaken and you felt all alone. Huh? But that's when I heard the psalmist declare. Huh? God knows I feel like preaching in here tonight. Huh? That's when I heard the psalmist declare. Huh? When my mother and my father forsake me, huh? then the Lord will take me up. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Huh? When it look like huh? everybody around me huh? is failing me. Huh? When it look like huh? life my God huh, is all against me. Huh, when it look like every art is against me. Huh, when it look like all the arts are against me. Huh, everybody's betting that I lose. Huh, I can hear the Lord saying huh, greater is he that is in you huh, than he that is in the world. Huh, I can hear the Holy Ghost saying huh, if you hang on in there huh, just a little while longer. Huh, I can hear the Holy Ghost saying in, huh? You've got to hang on in there. Huh? You've got to endure. You've got to stand. Huh? Because many are the afflictions of the righteous. Huh? But the Lord delivered him huh? out of them all. Huh? Everything that I've gone through. I said everything that I've gone through. Huh? That's why Andre Crouch sung the song. Huh? Oh my God. Huh? If I never had a problem. Huh? I would not know that God could solve them. Huh? I would not know what faith in God could do. Huh? Now I thank God for the mountains. Huh? I thank God for the valleys. Huh? I thank God for the hills. Huh? I thank God for the troubles. Huh? I thank God for the sorrows. Huh? That he's brought me through. Huh? Because if I never had a problem, I said, if I never had a problem, I would not know that God could solve them huh? if I never understood huh? that it was God. Huh? You need to tell yourself it was God. Huh? It was God huh? that had to pull me through. It, huh? I didn't have enough strength to walk. Huh? Y'all ain't got to help me up here tonight. Huh? I didn't have enough strength to walk. Huh? I could not carry myself. Huh? I didn't have enough strength to pull myself up. Huh? But it was the Holy Holy Ghost huh, that pulled me through. Huh. It was the Holy Ghost huh, that pulled me out of it. Huh. It was the Holy Ghost huh, that took me through my trials. Huh, that took me through my tribulations. Huh, that took me through my circumstances. Huh. And now that I come out of it, huh, I came out better. Huh. I didn't come out bitter, huh, but I came out better. Huh. You ought to thank God. God, huh? That whatever you went through, huh? you didn't let it make you bitter, huh? but you allowed it to make you better. Huh? And I heard, I said I heard, huh? the Bible declares huh? in Genesis 50 and 20, huh? when Joseph talked with his brothers, huh? he said, but as for you, huh? you've been evil against me, huh? ah, but God. I said, ah, but God, huh, he meant it for my good. Huh, he meant it for my good. Huh, it wasn't good while I went through it. Huh, it wasn't good while I experienced it. Huh, but he meant it for my good. Huh, can the church say yes? Can the church say yes? Romans declared, huh, we know. Huh, 
all things work together for the good of them who love God and those that are called according to his purpose is working for my good is working for my good is working for my good let me say good 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 set yourself on the shoulder and said it's working it's working for my good it's got to work for my good it's got to work for my good in spite of everything it's got to work for my good I've had to cry I've had to go through I've had to suffer I've had to weep sometimes but that's alright he knows what's best for me oh, he he knows uh, the way that I take. Uh, uh, he knows uh, everything I gotta go through. Uh, uh, he knows uh, the road that I take. Uh, and when he has tried me, woo! I said, when he has tried me, uh, I shall come forth. Uh, can the church say yes? Yeah? Can the church say yes? Uh, there is a bomb. I can hear Jeremiah saying in Jeremiah 8 and 22 is there no bomb in Gilead is there no physician there is there no bomb in Gilead but there is a bomb in Gilead that can heal a sin sick soul there is a bomb in Gilead that can make the wounded Hold. Uh, there is a bomb. There is a bomb. Uh, there is a bomb uh, in the Gilead. Uh, there is a bomb uh, in the Gilead. Uh, can the church say yes? Uh, for the restore, uh, uh, restore the soul, a uh, uh, breaker of the chain. Uh, that is a breaker that has come in the room. I want to talk to somebody that needs some stuff broken in their life. You got some you got some junk. Uh, you need God to break up. Uh, you got some spiritual mess. Uh, you need God to break up. Uh, you got some spiritual confusion. Uh, you need God to break up. Uh, you got some stuff in your home. Uh, you need God to break up. Uh, you got some stuff on your job. Uh, you need God to break up. Uh, you got some stuff in your life. Uh, you need God to break up. Uh, but I got good news. The breaker has come. The breaker has come. The breaker of chains. The breaker has come. The breaker is here. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. He's here to heal your body. He's here to touch your mind. He's here to bring you out. Say yes. My, 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 my. Let me close. I said, let me close. I come to tell somebody what did the Bible say in Psalm 24, 24 and 7. Lift up your heads, oh ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, in the king. A glory shall come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. The Lord, lift up your head. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Oh, ye gaze. Lift up your head. Look up. Your redemption drop not. Look up. Can the church say yes? Yeah? Can the church say yes? I got to close here. But God is. Somebody help me say God is. He's getting ready to give you 
double for all of your trouble. Everything you went through, everything you had to endure, every trial, every lie that they told on you. I can hear God saying, I'm going to restore you. I'm getting ready to give you back years. Somebody help me say years. You're 20 years old. Look like you're 80. You're 40 years old. Look like you're 90. I can hear the Holy Ghost saying, like he told Isaiah, go tell Hezekiah, I'm getting ready to turn back the hands of time. I'm going to turn it back. I'm getting ready to turn things around. I'm getting ready to turn it back. Let me say turn. He's going to turn it back. He's going to turn it back. Whatever has happened, whatever went on, he's going to turn it back. He's going to turn back your years a financial disaster. He's going to turn back your years a family trouble. He's going to turn back your years of church trouble. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I got a close in here. Oh, Brother Heat, I hear the Lord saying, I'm getting ready to turn it back. And when I turn it back, I'm going to kick it up a notch. I'm going to take you higher in my word. I'm going to take you higher in my will. Say it! Say it! Can the church say yes? Can the church say yes? But we have, I gotta take my seat, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of ourselves. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed. But not in despair. We are persecuted, but not forsaken. We are cast down, but not destroyed. Whatever has happened, it meant it for the good. Son of man, son of man, son of man, can these bones live? Son of man, can these bones live? Can these bones live through this depression? Can these bones live through this despair? Can these bones live through this opposition? Can these bones live through COVID-19? Can these bones live through this pandemic? Can these bones live in the midst of civic unrest? The answer is yes. Somebody say yes. Yes. I can live Yes I will live Yes I shall not die Woo. Let me stop Ezekiel 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 Tell me what do you see I see a island I said, I see a valley of dry bones. Can you tell me something? Can they live? Lord, I said, Lord, thou knowest. All of a sudden, Ezekiel said, Lord, what do you want me to do? Preach and prophesy to these dry bones what am I going to tell them oh dry bones hear ye the word of the Lord hear ye what God is saying and the Bible says all of a sudden they came a shaking 
that came rattling in the bone. Bone started connecting, connecting the bone, the toe bone, connected to the foot bone, the foot bone, connected to the ankle bone, the ankle bone, connected to the leg bone, the leg bone, connected to the knee bone, the knee bone, connected to the thigh bone, the thigh bone, connected to the hip bone, the hip bone, connected to the back bone, the back bone, connected to the neck bone, the neck bone, connected to the head bone, after a while, they had a whole new body. Whew. I got to stop, but what did you see? Somebody said, what did you see? Tell yourself, I see it. Come on, point to yourself. Tell yourself, I can see it coming together. I see my life coming together. I see the pieces falling in place. I see the puzzle coming together. I thought it was over. I thought it was finished. I thought I was through. I thought I was dead. I thought I was buried. But the Holy Ghost said, Live. Somebody shall live. Live. Let me blow, let me blow. Oh! Oh! Broken. Yep, they said broken. Broken. But not beyond repair. Broken. But it's going to be alright. He's going to fix it for me. He's going to turn it around. He's going to work it out. Say yes. Son of man, 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 can these, can these bones, can they live? Lord, you know, you know, you know whether or not they can live. What I need to do? What you want me to do? Preach to him. Prophesy. And say these words. Thus saith the Lord. Isn't it something that God can when 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 man says no, God says yes. When man gives up on you, whoo, God says it's just right for me. I said it's just right for God. Nothing is too hard for God. Broken, but not beyond repair. Maybe there's someone under the sound of my voice right now. You're listening to me. There's some situations that are broken in your life. I'm talking to someone in a broken home, a broken relationship, a broken marriage. That relationship between father and son is broken. That relationship between mother and daughter is broken. The home is messed up. Your life is torn apart. But there is a bomb in Gilead. What is a bomb? A bomb is an ointment that they rub on you to make stuff better. There's a bomb in Gilead that can make the wounded whole. There's a bomb in Gilead. Woo! that can save a sin sick soul. God, I thank you today. I want to pray for you right now. Wherever you are, whatever you're going through, I want to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, if you can just believe, if you can just trust God. Father, I want to thank you right now. I thank you for everybody. Lord, I thank you for everybody. I thank you for everything now. Look upon your people, I pray, in the name of Jesus. Lord, somebody today is burdened down. Somebody is broken in their spirit. Somebody is broken in their heart. But whatever the case may be, Lord, you know about it. God, I pray now that you will bless them and help them. In the name of Jesus. Mend that thing together that only you can mend together again. Heal 
like only you can heal. Bind the devil on every hand and cast the devil out of our minds. Let your glory be revealed. And your help come now. God, and we're going to praise you. We're going to thank you. Give you the glory and the honor. Lord, these are another blessing we ask in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen and amen. Well, friend, thank you again. Amen. It's now time that we will come. Amen. We will make ready our hearts to give in an offering. Amen. Praise God. You can give. Amen. Through GiveLify. You can text to give. Amen. Through our church app. What's that number? 90146. Amen. 03476. Again, that number is 901. 4603476. Amen. Please be sure to give and to share with us in ministry. We thank God for you joining us this morning. And we pray, Amen, that you will join us again on next Sunday, the same time, the same place. And remember, you may be broken, but you're not beyond repair. Let me pray God's blessings upon you, Father. We thank you now for all of your people. We thank you for the word of God. We thank you for the people of God. And it is our prayer now, Lord, that you look on us in a mighty way. Dismiss us from this place, but never by our presence. Bring us back at the hour appointed. And now may the grace of our God and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide. Henceforth and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Thank you for watching Zion Temple Ministries. Be sure to tune in to worship with us via Facebook Live and YouTube each Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. on Facebook Live Stream and every Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. for our Tuesday night teaching Bible study. You can also check out our worship opportunities by visiting our website at www.ztministriestn.com. If you would like to make contributions to the ministry, you can donate via Cash App or by searching Zion Temple Church of God in Christ via Givelify. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you soon.